Welcome back. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Um, we're gonna play The Sims 4. We're gonna work on the build that we started yesterday, and I'm gonna let the game play its own music. I know you don't care about that probably, but this is The Sims 4 soundtrack. I never just let it play The Sims 4 to me, <laughs> so it should be kind of interesting to listen to The Sims 4 music today. <laughs> uh, but welcome in. It's good to see you all. I'll, I'll give you a tour of the house in a minute, and um, We'll talk about what we did yesterday, because if you weren't here yesterday, we built like the the main exterior of the house for the most part. We have a few things to change, and then we did the downstairs. Um, we have the upstairs and the basement now to finish the rest of. And then I guess like details, terrain paint. We have a horse. I'm not sure about that either, <laughs> so we'll figure it out. It'll be interesting, I guess. Um, sweet and Crystal and Morky and Macklin, thank you for the subs. It's good to see you all. Um, M, also Input and Poodles and Lace and Roka, thank you so much. Yeah, this is interesting. I know I keep talking about it. The Sims 4 soundtrack is so interesting to listen to because I never do. I always have it muted. So it feels like it's new music to me, <laughs> even though it's not. <laughs> Something about a horse and eco lifestyle don't seem to mesh to you. Yeah, yeah. No, it's weird. It's super weird. Um, there being a horse in like this neighborhood, no, makes no sense. <laughs> makes absolutely no sense at all. Not in the slightest, but it, it is what it is. We're building this for my YouTube legacy challenge. Um, and in it, I don't know, chaos ensues. The sim that my, explaining this sounds so ridiculous, but <laughs> the sim that my sim is going to marry, they're not even dating yet but we're ready, basically. Um, they love horses. So we're simply preparing in advance <laughs> for our future horse lover spouse. Um, so yeah, you can have horses wherever you want. You don't, you can put horses anywhere, Sam. Um, so if, if you are playing in this world, you could have horses here. When they say that horses in this world don't mesh, they don't mean because like you physically can't do it. That's not true. You can put horses anywhere. Um, just not in apartments, but that makes sense. Um, but you could do it in custom built apartments from for rent. But you can you could put a horse on a 20 by 15 lot if you wanted to in Willow Creek. You could you could live with them anywhere. Um, it, it works kind of like cats and dogs. You can have a cat in any world, you know. Um, so imagine horses in San Myshuno. I mean, you could build like on one of those lots that's in San Myshuno, like the lots next to the apartments, you could put a horse there. So. <laughs> Hannah, Star House, Gemini, Witching. Uh, we got Miss and Gracie and Anna and Allie and Faye, Jenna, Cody, HP and Cricket and Dark and Stormy and Schooly and Michelle and Girl and Lace and Roka and Kirstie. Uh, thank you all so much for the subs and stuff. Now you're getting ideas. Now now I'm sat here too, like, hmm, if we want to talk about horses in other worlds, I'm like, wait a minute, should we be trying to put a horse in, <laughs> in San Maestrino? Oh, 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 hold on, everyone. Important announcement. You see Lady Colossus in the chat? That's Shan. Mod birthday. <laughs> Mod birthday announcement. Everyone's happy birthday, Shan. To be clear, Shan is not my sister. Common misconception. That's Shanna. Shan is different. <laughs> uh, but very exciting stuff. Mod birthday, mod birthday. The Around February and, and like early March, everybody, it's, it's so wacky. It's like all of the mods have a birthday all at once. <laughs> it's so funny how that happens. But anyway, um, let's build a horse house and save my shoe, no, shall we? No, I just wanted to show you the, the lot I was talking about. Imagine making like a horse ranch right here. That would be kind of funny. <laughs> um, anyway, let's go back into, where am I? Evergreen Harbor, silly. We're building this here. Um, it's where Bess Sterling lives normally, but she's dead in the save that we're playing in. So uh, she's here in this one, but not in the real one. <laughs> um, and other quick recap. So we, are building this for my YouTube legacy challenge. You might've seen my nightmare legacy on YouTube. Um, the, the Sims that I've been playing with there. 
Um, it's still like a short lifespan legacy challenge and we're kind of starting a new generation So when my sims become young adults, I usually go out and build them new houses and stuff and like start the next thing um, So in this generation we are gonna be playing with a lot of the eco lifestyle things like playing with the fabrication stuff and all that The sims name is Tinker um, Tinker Bell <laughs> um, But their last name is Bell um, So we're gonna do a lot of the like fabrication crafty stuff from that pack um, they are going to marry someone from the Tinker family, like, you know, Tina Tinker in Evergreen Harbor, their kid, we're going to marry them. We just haven't yet. Um, so we're kind of preparing for that. Um, I'll show you around the house in a minute. Uh, we don't really have a budget. We have like a couple hundred thousand simoleons with the sim right now. I kind of want to cheat money away. Um, we have, this house costs like a hundred thousand right now. I might give us like... 10 to 15,000 more to finish the rest of it. Um, and this is what the outside looks like. So I kind of went eco home energy um, on the outside. Uh, in the back, obviously the back patio is not done. We're still working there. Um, the backyard isn't done either. We're going to have a horse because the person that Tinker is going to date is a horse lover. <laughs> so I'm going to put a horse back here. Uh, I'm not for I haven't furnished this yet. I've just been like thinking about it. Um, <laughs> and they're gonna have a horse <laughs> um, So that's interesting um, And then on the inside of the house, we've got the whole downstairs finish So you walk into like this little entryway space right here um, We've got on the right side like a dining room area. We have a living room um, Is that a squeaky toy that's playing in the song? Listen Wait. Wait. Has it happened again? I know it's cats and dogs music, but I've never heard the squeaky toy. Wait for it. Oh my god, they're not playing it again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's making me feel we like I got. <laughs> Am I imagining it? No, chat's, chat hears it too. I don't normally play The Sims 4 music. I usually mute it. So it's kind of fun for me to play it. But here's the kitchen. Um, we've got the primary bedroom downstairs. Uh, it's got like a desk nook and some place for artwork. They have their own bathroom. There's also like a little hall bathroom here. In the basement, um, we haven't furnished this completely yet. We kind of started. Uh, there's laundry, which I'm probably gonna regret. We have like a guest room that's gonna belong to my robot. I know, when I say it out loud, it's- there's a weird collection of sims in this house. Um, <laughs> we're gonna have a crystal room with like a wall for collectibles. I haven't finished that yet either. Um, and this is gonna be our like fabrication robotics room. Um, so that's kind of where we're at with the downstairs space. Can I zoom in on the desk of the primary? Yeah, it's- it's, um, island counters. Um, it's because this plant is clipping through the wall, so I wanted to cover it. Um, but that song came with the infant update, the squeaky toy one did? Interesting. I really don't play Sims 4 music ever, so I really don't know the Sims 4 music that well. Um, and then upstairs, we haven't done this yet. Upstairs, there's gonna be the primary, well, secondary, primary, <laughs> secondary bedroom uh, for the grandparents. So they'll have their own balcony and like private bedroom. There is a hall bathroom upstairs. This is gonna belong to my Sims younger sister. And then this is a future kids bedroom, but eventually the parents are gonna die and then their sister will move out and we'll have like space for kids bedrooms upstairs. Um, so if you're if you're seeing my YouTube Let's Play, um, this is where like April and Dory will live and this will be May's room. So um, that's kind of where we're at. We've got a bunch of work to do. I really like the balcony on the side of the house. I just think this is really cool. Um, is the whole family moving then? Yeah, I, I really prefer to play like generationally with my sims. Um, oops, I think it's fun to do that. And it's not uploaded to the gallery unfurnished. I'm gonna upload it to the gallery in like a couple hours today um, when it's done, but I'm not gonna upload it unfurnished or anything. I don't normally upload my builds twice. Um, so anyway, that's where we're at. Let me turn on move objects and we can work on the basement some more. <laughs> I think I'll start in the basement today. Um, yeah, the shape works out pretty well. It does look like Texas again. Honestly, this is one of the most Texas houses I've ever built, and it was completely unintentional. But this is one of the worst. This is the greatest Texas offender I've I've done. 
It's never on purpose. I just keep adding weird bump out shapes and all of a sudden it looks like Texas. <laughs> um, yeah. Are houses in real life commonly in the shape of Texas? I don't think so. I don't know how this keeps happening to me. Wait, let me show you. Um, let me show you a picture of Texas. Just so you can understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> Look at this. Wait, let me, hold on. I'll make it small too, so we can see it better. Um, look at this, look at this. It's, it's so not on, pro I, it, this is the worst one yet. It's so bad. Like how, how does this keep happening to me? <laughs> it literally is like the exact, oh, anyway. It's not intentional. It's never intentional. But I keep making shells of buildings that look like this. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely the most Texas yet, for sure. For sure, but that's fine. It's funny, right? <laughs> backyard, um, barely. I don't know what the question means, but we barely have a backyard. These planter boxes, these are debug. These are, um, they're like hydroponic planters. Uh, you can get them, you can craft them with, if you have eco lifestyle and you have like the um, fabrication station and skill. You can craft them. I'm putting them there kind of as like a placeholder, but I'm gonna swap them out with the plain ones and make my sim try and make them before we are allowed to upgrade to these fancy ones, I think. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Can I give a little tour, please? Oh God, you're like two minutes too late. I'm so sorry. I literally just finished doing the tour. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I would do it again, but I feel bad making everybody sit through it twice. We'll, we'll tour it again in a bit. Let's work on the basement a bit more and then we can come back to it if that's okay with you. Um, okay, so I put my objects on, right? Yeah, let's just start working on the inside. Actually, pause. Oh God, I've got to think subs. <laughs> Emma, Beveling, Severs, and Squid, and Backwards, and Haley, and Mel, and Big Simile, also Evie, and Q, uh, Fun Size, and Terrence, and Starburst, and Sven, uh, Anna, Addy, Eddie, sorry, God, can't read, <laughs> Care Bear, Cinnamon, um, Key and Lynette and Kirstie and Starhouse and Gemini and everybody, thank you for the subs. Um, will I add solar panels? That's a good question. This roof is actually a solar shingle. Um, so the, the roof, this shingle produces power, um, which is kind of cool. So you can add like solar panels also, I guess, if you wanted to. Um, but the, the roof itself is a solar shingle. We could put more solar panels in the back. I don't really like the color of them, but maybe it would be fun to have, I don't know. How much does that cost? 850? See, I don't know if we can afford that. No, it's not off the grid. No, 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 no. Um, it's not off the grid. Do we all get ads at the same time? You probably can't hear me because the ads have a couple seconds left. Oh, no, they're done. Maybe, maybe you're fine. <laughs> Um, it, it gives ads to a lot of people at the same time. It's not everybody. Um, people who are subscribed don't get ads, and people who are lucky don't get ads. Um, I don't know how Twitch picks, <laughs> but you may have not gotten ads just then, you may have gotten ads just then. Um, not everybody does get ads, so. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna not put these extra solar panels here just for the sake of money, because I'd prefer to not spend more than like the extra 10K that I'm gonna do down here in the basement. Which is actually a lot of money, but we'll see what we can manage. Um, we'll see what we can manage in the basement. <sighs> okay. Is the dew collector stuff useful? Um, yeah, I mean, I would say so. I wasn't really planning on putting it, um, but I guess we could potentially add it if we really wanted to. Um, you get some uh, water collected, save yourself a little bit of money. Um, your Wi-Fi is so bad today, is it? I'm really sorry. That's having like, when your internet is being slow and it's making it hard for you to like watch the content you wanna watch and or like do anything because your internet's being annoying and slow. It's so frustrating. Um, so I'm really sorry if that's happening to you. Um, oh my God. Oh, how strange. The mat disappears when you put it on that table. I don't think I like that. 
Um, wow. Anyway, <laughs> I just saw someone ask if there's any pack restrictions. Um, and with this build in particular, no. Um, because this house I'm making for myself, uh, for like my own legacy challenge on YouTube. Uh, and so I'm, I, when I do pack restrictions, I, I do that for like, you know, making builds for people to download and everything. Um, I, I wouldn't really do pack restrictions when it's a build for me. Um, cause I'm, you know, in this case I'm making it for me to play with. Um, I hope that makes sense. But yeah, I, I'm not doing any pack restrictions in this. Um, when I, when I build for me, I kind of just do what I want. <laughs> Which I think makes sense. Um, I think most people would, so. Yeah, I don't like that. The countertop is from Home Chef Hustle. I'm kind of, I'm a little bit unclear, uh, like how much I want to put in here and like what I want to do with all of this. Um, I think maybe I'm overthinking it a little bit as I tend to do. Um, yeah, I just, I'm not sure. Maybe I could get a bookshelf. I'm not sure how much I should spend and like what all we should put. <laughs> um, who's going to be into crystals? My, my sim tinker is going to be. I think I want them to do a lot of like crafty hobbies because their name is Tinker. I'm, I'm picturing them just tinkering with a lot of things. Tinkering with the, the jewelry making, tinkering with the fabrication station, just like a lot of messing with stuff <laughs> um, is kind of what I am thinking. And I feel like that makes sense. Like it kind of has a, that's a fun storyline. So um, we're gonna do a lot of that. I might leave this room relatively, I don't want to say empty, but I'm gonna leave the shelving empty because I'm gonna try and fill it in my gameplay. Um, and I think it makes, it's not too weird to have it be empty when it's on the gallery because it's a crystal room. So you'd put like your own crystals in there, right? Um, is that the same bookshelf right outside the door? Yeah, it is. I'm not that worried about that, though. I know some people don't like that, but... That doesn't really bother me. Those look bad together, don't they? I don't know what to put on this wall. We have crystals there. I don't think another shelf would be good. Why is the laundry that color? It doesn't really fit. I think it's goofy. That's why. You know what I do sometimes that really bugs people and they get really upset about? <laughs> um, I'll put like a fake window in the basement. I'm not gonna change the outside, so don't tell me to put a window well or anything. Um, but sometimes I'll put a window in the basement and then put curtains on it just so I could have like something there. <laughs> but people tend to get, um, mad when I do that. <laughs> they don't like it. Um, we can cover it with like a My First Pet Stuff blind. Maybe that won't be too bad. I think the fake windows are kind of funny. That's sort of my thought process, but I know not everybody um, feels that way. <laughs> they have really strong negative opinions about it. <laughs> I kind of like it, but I know that that is not a um, common opinion. You have windows in your basement? Yeah, I mean, it happens in real life. People have, oftentimes, like, maybe there's, like, the, a window that's, like, really skinny um, in the basement going upstairs. Um, I just kind of like how it looks. And in, we can't do, like, a window well here, because I didn't build the house to have one, obviously. Um, nor do I really want to go back and add anything like that. Um, but... Yeah, people put, you could do like, um, you're right, like LED panels and stuff in basements to make it look like windows. People do that. People do that. It's fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. Um, okay. Yeah, the fake window is, is nice for when you can't have a window well. If we had built this like with the intention of having a window well before, um, which we do sometimes, but not in this build, it would have been cool, but. Um, it's texture shape downstairs too. Maybe a little bit. It's because the basement follows the shape of the upstairs a lot. If you, if you look, um, it's the shape of the upstairs, but about one tile away from the edge so that it won't clip. Because when you draw that out, you know how it like breaks the, um, the floor? 
Ick. So it's it follows the shape of the upstairs quite closely. So that's why. What's the blue thing in the basement? This is a fabrication machine. Um, it's it's what you use from Eco Lifestyle. It's like the one of the main skills from Eco Lifestyle. Um, you can fabricate all kinds of uh, decor, furniture. Um, it's kind of a fun fun one. Okay, that seems nice to me. This is a robotics machine as well. Your least favorite machine in the game? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Um, a mini tour maybe? Ella, fantastic suggestion. I literally just did a tour right before we started working on the basement. So I'm not gonna subject everybody to a secondary tour right now. We'll do the basement first, and then we can go back upstairs and I'll show you around a little bit more if that's okay with you. It's it's hard to balance that when you're doing a build on stream, because it's like, a lot of you are just now getting here and you haven't seen it yet, but also a lot of you have been here all stream, and so you watched me do a tour already. <laughs> um, so I don't want to make people watch it twice, like, within a couple minutes of each other, but we'll do it after we finish the basement if that's okay. Um, we'll try and get a little bit further along, though. Um, do I use any radiator or water heater machine from format in your builds, even the decor ones? Sometimes we do. Um, it just depends if I feel like I've got space for it. We could totally, in this house, if we wanted to, put like the water heater or something. Um, we could probably fit in, maybe only a little bit smaller. We could probably fit in something like that. Um, the house that my Sims live in right now has that. Oh, that's not as big as I thought. Um, I don't really want to do it. Um, just because I need the basement so bad. But um, the house they live in right now had that until I swapped it into a bathroom because I needed an extra bathroom. But um, I do that sometimes. It just depends on what that the building is and what I feel like we need, you know? Um, does Tinker have space for a dog, maybe? Oh, we have a dog. So we do have space for the dog because we do have a dog. Um... Okay, I'm looking for some of the eco-lifestyle stuff. I'm kind of wondering about using this weird thing. I don't know if I've used this in a house much at all. I've used it before, but I think pretty much exclusively in community lots. So that could be kind of fun to add in. Are we doing candle making or juice fizzing? I, I think I think if we tried to do that too, we might be in a little bit over our heads. Um, Cause we're doing um, like the crystals and the fabrication. <laughs> so it's like, can we really fit in more? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think we might be getting a little bit ahead of ourselves if we try and add anything extra. I think that looks bad. Maybe I just get paintings or something. When were those added? The candle making and juice fizzing? In Eco Lifestyle, there's a like a bajillion kind of fun hobby-like skills in Eco Lifestyle. Um, ben did, thank you for the 37 months. <laughs> Kate and Bex and Ness and Long Live and, and Nack. Uh, we got uh, MX and Saw and Simaris and Chloe and Sarah and Mady and Gio and Jewel. Thank you all for the subs. Um, is the basement dedicated to Nina? Kinda, I guess, a little bit. Part of it is gonna be where Nina's gonna stay, but also Tinker is gonna use the basement to work on all of their, um, skill building. So, it's for everybody. Um, congrats on the Stardew Valley tournament win! <laughs> That's so funny. They said I'm a couple years late, but I just watched the VOD today. <laughs> Yeah, we did that um, a couple years ago. That's funny that you brought that up. Um, I I enjoyed that. That was an interesting um, an interesting invitation that I had received to do that. Um, and uh, we did end up winning, thanks to some um, iconic Stardew Valley streamers who are better than I am at speedrunning and planning speedruns. <laughs> so um, that was I've never done anything like that. I don't really do. Um, I don't really do a lot of uh, speed running or like serious stuff like that. I, I do more like, I don't know, we kind of just hang out and play, play games more creatively. I guess you could say. Their name is Tinker? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's because their last name is Bell and we've been doing a lot of like, 
Um, I don't know, just generally, I try to pick, like, I guess funny names, like, um, in this case, Tinkerbell is the funny name in question, but um, some of the other ones, we had, like, their grandmother was called Baby Bell, and it was kind of iconic. She was, like, a famous actress, but um, <laughs> she, her name was Baby Bell, like the cheese. Um, we had, uh, right now we have Dory Bell is our mom, but she, it's, like, adorable, I guess, a little bit. I don't know, kind of a stretch. Um, we've had a lot of um, things. There was Blue Bell. Um, we had Cam Bell, <laughs> was a chef. Um, yeah, so we've we've uh, gone through a, a lot of um, phases over the years. I don't think I like that one. But that's a little insight into it. Um, Taco Bell? No, we haven't had Taco Bell. That's a very common suggestion for a pet name, though. That gets brought up a lot. Whenever I get a new pet, they're like, is this going to be the time? And then I don't usually do it, but... <laughs> um, that is one that gets brought up a lot. People really want that one, but... Um, wasn't there a Terry, too? Yeah, one of my favorite generations was Terry Bell. Um, and she was, like, evil and in the criminal career. <laughs> and I thought that was so funny. <laughs> um, I enjoyed that one. Um, okay, dine out... I want to get the dine out plan. I really enjoy having like goofy names in my Sim series. I don't know. Are we playing today or just building? Well, this is my YouTube series, so I wouldn't play this legacy save on on stream anyway. I would save it for YouTube. Um, but we're we are just building today for the most part. Yeah. Um, We'll see how long it takes us. We could probably do something else afterward if we manage to finish it in a reasonable amount of time, but I wouldn't get my hopes up about that. <laughs> I cannot be trusted when it comes to finishing builds for my legacy saves in reasonable amounts of time. <laughs> I, I could keep going all day, so. <laughs> Crown C, thank you for the gifted subs. Uh, Missy with the tier two, 54 months. Sydney with the 12 months. Mari with the prime sub. Um, Joanna and Coffee and Kira and, and Supper and Andrew and Chunky and Kaylee and Veg and Witch. Thank you all for the subs. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate that. Oh, I don't like this. I think I might use something like that in our sister's room upstairs. We'll decorate it kind of fun for her. Um, oh, you know what we should get? Um, let me go into debug. I want to get some of the space prints, I think. That could be cool. How was Drag Race? It was fun. Um, I was uh, very stressed that there was gonna be a second um, distressing elimination in a row, that they didn't eliminate anybody yesterday, which is predictable. Oftentimes in Drag Race, cause the whole episode was like themed around voting and like encouraging folks to vote, which is good. But oftentimes when they do an episode like that, they'll have like one a season that is like, has a message behind it and is very positive and then it's like surprise nobody's going home but it it kind of ha it like happens every season you know so <laughs> it's not that much of a surprise <laughs> but it is a little bit um but yeah it was a, it was a nice episode good vibes um also vote register to vote <laughs> it's important <laughs> This is a good chance, if you're sitting there at your computer right now, um, maybe check your voter registration. Just make sure it's up to date and you're good to go. Because, you know, just want to be sure we're all ready. Um, okay, I think... Oh, that has cool vibes for this room, right? Maybe I'll make this darker. That helps. Okay, that's good. I like it, I like it. Um, we'll get a pretty light. Okay, so this is where my, um, my robot's gonna be hanging out for the most part. <laughs> Which makes me feel so silly when I say that out loud. Maybe I will get a fish tank. Um, Cause... Oh no, they're not showing up there. Maybe I'll look at, um, 
Oh, because I was in base game. That would explain it. Sorry. I want to get one of the ones maybe from like spa day. Oh, that's a little bit. It's always bigger than you think it's going to be. Every time. That's too much. Um, no, they don't have pressure to vote every time, but people, maybe you've moved recently. Um, you know, it's just, it's good to check to make sure your registration is up to date, especially with, um, like primaries happening right now and stuff. Um, but, and I guess it's different everywhere in all of the states, but, um, you've been begging for a one tile fish tank. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, I guess another option, I'm trying to think about like functionality here and um, I'm gonna scoop that over. I think that we might need to get an extra desk because we have, they're, they're going to die soon. Sorry to put it bluntly like that, but they are. We have, um, in my legacy, um, are the grandparents who are not grandparents yet, but will be. Uh, the previous generation, they are both, like, they ha they're a writer and a programmer, so they both do jobs on the computer. So it might not be a bad idea for us to get an extra computer in the basement. Because we only have one. And I think having a computer down here isn't that unreasonable anyway. So we could probably do that. Um... As a non-American, the registration feels strange. It should be done automatically when you turn 18. Yeah, I think most people agree with you that they want it to be as easy as possible to vote. Um, but unfortunately, I don't think that the government agrees with you. So, <laughs> huge yikes. <laughs> um, they're really, in fact, they want to make it difficult. <laughs> Oh yeah, Belle had the baby, but we when I say like they're not grandparents of like our kids yet, our future generation, because it gets confusing to people when I'm talking about a sim who lives here. Our sim who lives here doesn't have any kids yet. Um, so, um, anyway, wish it wasn't difficult to vote, but they do want it to be. Like they're, for example, in Florida trying to make mail-in ballots not possible, which frankly I think is the dumbest thing imaginable because how many old people live in Florida that vote by mail? You're doing this to yourself, Republican Party. But anyway, they're trying to like make that difficult because they're trying to act like, oh, it's not secure. It's not... It's so stupid. Anyway, um, sorry, <laughs> I won't keep going on, but uh, yeah, I agree with you. It should be easier than it is. Um, yeah, a lot of people vote, for, vote by mail for a lot of reasons. Um, it's really important to have access to that. But, um, I think, I guess we can just get some more plants. I'm, I'm really getting kind of worried about how much clutter I'm putting and whether or not I'm doing too much. Like with the money situation, not not with how it looks, but just like, or can we afford this? Oh, you know what we should do? I'll put this here for now as like a filler, but we'll use that as a spot to put our, our um, baby handprints when the kids are born. We don't have any kids yet, but when they are born, I'll do that and that's gonna be good. Um, okay. Cute. I might get an extra thermostat in the basement too. Thought you wanted to waste money. Yeah, but I don't want to. I don't want our house to be as expensive as we can afford. Um, I would prefer for the house to be like. I wanted it to be around like 100k. We have more money than that, but I did want it to be around like 100k. I didn't. I it, originally I was gonna make it like 50k and try and work our way back up, and then I did this. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who's this house for? Um, it's for my YouTube legacy challenge. There's a sim called Tinker who lives here. They're my legacy heir. Um, well, they don't live here yet, but they will. Um, 
do you find Florida hard to live in politically? <laughs> That's a very fun way of wording that question. Um, if you're asking if uh, I disagree with most of the Floridian politics, absolutely. <laughs> Um, it's very frustrating to have uh, to live in a conservative state like this. I think a lot of people feel the same way. Um, okay, maybe I will get just a regular old lamp. You know what I like is the get to work one. This I think is one of the best lamps in the game and it's so simple. It's just like a plain old lamp, but it's so nice. It is so nice. Um, maybe I'll put a couple bookshelves next to it too. Um, okay. How does that look? Nope, scoot that closer to the wall. Okay. Try that. How do you do that? Like the scooting? Um, if you have move objects on, the move objects cheat on, you can like kinda uh, alt place and scoot things. You slot it to a, an item, like to a table or something, and then you can drag it off and then custom place where it goes. Kind of a helpful tip for really customizing where stuff places on like desks and stuff, because you don't always want it to place where it tries to place. <laughs> Uh, sometimes it tries to place in really weird locations, so you might want to customize it a bit more than that. Um, so it's nice that you're able to. Okay. So... I think that could be the whole basement done. At least for now. We've got our robotics and fabrication room. We've got the crystal room. Laundry room guest room slash Nina's room. <laughs> um, and then we can go upstairs. I can show you the house now again from the outside. Um, this is what the exterior looks like. We built all of this yesterday. We have a little bit of furnishing to do on the inside left, but um, this is kind of what it looks like from the outside. Uh, I have to do the whole backyard still. There's just like filler stuff there. We haven't decorated the backyard really. Um, that's for my horse. We don't have a horse yet, but we will have a horse. Um, and then upstairs, we just have three bedrooms. It's like the grandparents' room, our sister's room, and then our future child's room. So that is kind of where we're at with the- oh, that's already painted. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put that on that wall. I just like it. I think that's nice. And then maybe... I might steal this again, too. What's left to do? Um, the upstairs, and then the rest of the outside. <laughs> All of the extra decor. So three bedrooms and then the rest of the outside we gotta figure out. Um, the primary bedroom is downstairs, Hugs. It's this room. And they have an ensuite bathroom too. So that's what the downstairs looks like. The fire toilet is gonna go in this downstairs bathroom. That is the plan. We have not- my sim doesn't actually live here yet. I'm not building this in the save where my sim lives. Um, I'm building this in just a random save and I'll move them in afterwards so we don't have the fire toilet yet, but we'll swap it later. Um, the sliding doors to the backyard are glitched. Yeah, let me just, um, address this now. That's gonna happen a lot. If that ever- I know that it bugs people to look at. It bugs me to look at too, but it- sometimes you just have to kind of let it be and remember that we're gonna get back down there and fix it before we, like, put it up on the gallery or anything. It just happens to itself again and again, you know? So, there's all- there's probably another window that's glitched somewhere. It happens all the time. You just gotta, like, kind of just have to let it be. <laughs> it's because I have move objects on. That's why. Um... Paint that black. I prefer how that looks when it's like that. Does anyone have a bug with Woohoo? Your sims just won't do it. Um, can they access the place where they want- where you want them to Woohoo? Is it, like, accessible to them? And to another point, I guess, do they like each other enough to Woohoo? <laughs> um, <laughs> that is the real question. <laughs> um, okay. Um, 
Gronzi, my friend, uh, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm checking your message history right now because I saw my mod reply to you earlier. Um, I, hopefully they'll answer your question about the Discord ticket, but um, I haven't seen your messages on other platforms, just so you know. <laughs> I don't know where you reached out to me elsewhere, but I'm not like on Twitter and stuff, so I haven't seen that. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, if you, um, I guess the, t the Discord is a good spot to try that. Um, okay. I think, let's figure this out. Let me actually, I'm gonna try and think about, I wanna scoot a bed kind of up against the corner, or I guess maybe I don't want it up against the corner of the wall. We might have to just let it be in the middle, even though it's gonna be kind of, um, it'll be hard to decorate around it, but it's easier to play this way when it's in the middle. They have this bed right now. So perhaps I'll give that to them again. Um, I don't know, I always feel kind of unsure about that sort of thing. It's like, is it a fun nod to the old house or is it boring to use the same bed twice? <laughs> you know, like what's the, <laughs> is it both? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Simon, Hazel, Clyde, uh, and Disbelief, Elf, thank you for the subs. It is one of my favorite beds. I do like this bed a lot. I think I like the- it looks cozy with the blankets. I haven't saved, no. <laughs> good idea. That is a good call. That is a good call. Yikes. With the end of the bed against the sliding door. Oh, like this? Um, so the reason that I wouldn't do that is because it's against the wall. And I don't really want it to be against the wall because then they have to scoot to get into it. This is obviously like less than ideal, the way that we've located this, but um, it's also uh, just, it's better to have there be two sides. Because they can scoot, but it makes it really annoying when they have to scoot. So I think I'd rather um, keep it like this. Uh, Big Fancy, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. And Funky and Ava and, and Jewel and Mara, thank you for the subs too. Um, oh, the new couch from the Crystal Pack makes a fun faux headboard. I bet it does. Wait, let me look at that. I don't think that'll work for this room, obviously, because it's kind of a different vibe, but that's a good point that we should probably check out. Oh, yeah, you could use that as a fun headboard in different spaces decoratively. That's cool. Um, yeah, and sometimes they don't want to scoot. Uh-huh. <laughs> sometimes they just won't. So it's good to be prepared, I guess. Um, I love the when people, like, find different ways to use things from The Sims in, like, ways that they were not intended. I just think that's so fun to, to see people coming up with stuff like that. I love it. That does not look good. I love that lamp, but not in this room. Ooh, I never use this lamp anymore. Actually, that color is kind of good. Um, I think in their room, because they actually have quite a few family photos, I may give them like a gallery wall of photos too. Just because they of all people have like the most photos. So we could get that filled up with like pictures of the pets and... Just curious why you don't have your sims live on the same lot anymore. Um, do you mean like with the for rent stuff? Uh, there's not like a dramatic reason, it's just that there's not a big enough lot in Eco Lifestyles world. <laughs> the, the truth of the matter is I wanted to have them live in Evergreen Harbor and the lots are quite small in Evergreen Harbor. Um, it's 30 by 20. The only 40 by 30 lots are, uh, like, the community spaces, and I don't want to delete any of the community spaces. So, um, that's kind of where we're at. <laughs> it's just, they weren't, they were not big enough to build, like, a townhouse or something. Um, but we have, uh, a small enough space to have them live in the house with me still. So that's what we're doing now, is we're making a house that they can live in and share with me. Um, okay, how far into the wall can I scoot that to right there? This is probably a no. I'm gonna check though. 
Oh. That is, like, shocking. The fact that she was able to just get past that. Okay. Two computers, question mark? Are you asking, like, why am I putting a second computer upstairs? It's actually a third computer that I'm putting upstairs. Um, and I've got two sims that do all of their work on the computers. One's a programmer and one's a writer. Um, so they both need computers because they usually work at the same time. Um, so it's helpful for them both to have a computer to themselves to use for that. I'm really tempted to... Oh my god, do you want to try and do this with like that color instead and have there be like a green... <gasps> Yeah, I think so. That looks way better. That's a fun desk chair. Maybe I can try and get like some golden accents in the room then. To fit with that. Okay, I'm gonna do a dresser too. What would I say is my least used career? Um, oh, that's a good question. I think that... You know, truthfully, it, the one that I'm, like, trying to get my sim set up to do is the one from Eco Lifestyle, that, like, Eco Inspector one. That might be my least used career, the Eco Lifestyle Eco Inspector career. I never, ever use that one. That's why I'm trying to make an effort to use it with this sim. Um, but... Cop? Yeah, I mean, I honestly would probably say, like, a couple of those get-to-work ones, but I just played through a bunch of them because of the not so berry challenge. Um, the military- oh. Military. I never have them be in the military. Yeah, I don't even know when I last- That's not something that really comes to mind <laughs> when I'm playing The Sims. So yeah, that probably would be the one. Um, yeah, it's from Strangerville. You know what? Let's look through all the careers quick. Let's play a little game. Um, you have a job, so you have to quit it so I can look at them. Please hold. Join a career. Yeah, military is from Strangerville. Um, the whole concept of Strangerville is that, like, the military is, like, in this town that's being infested by scary, uh, poison. <laughs> um, okay, anyway, detective, doctor, and scientist are the three active careers from Get to Work. I really like the scientist career, and I feel like I just played doctor and detective because of Not So Berry. Um, I did not enjoy the detective career. I wanted to be out of that one so bad. Playing that was so boring. I just hated it. I wanted to be done. I don't play as an actor very much. I guess also because it's active. Um, I don't do that often. I use a lot of these, like the base game ones a lot, like astronaut, athlete, business, because they're just there and obvious. Conservationist, I don't use very much. Um, that's from Island Living, obviously. Um, I probably should use it more. I just don't do it. Civil Designer is the eco-lifestyle one that we're going to play with this sim, um, that I never use either. I do Criminal a fair bit. I do Critic a lot, because I loved it when it first came out. Culinary is an obvious choice, do that all the time. Education and Engineer, and also Lawyer, are three that came with University. Um, I don't play as a lawyer much, but I pick the other two a fair bit. Entertainer I use a lot. Gardener I have two sims in right now. Military is the stranger one that we talked about. Um, I, I guess maybe salary person and military are my two least used. I liked the, um, doing the freelance stuff is fun because you can get so much money from that. Um, interior decorator you have to really work for, so I don't do that much. Um, salary person is from Snowy Escape, um, and it's kind of similar to the business career, um, except you work so much like so much that's like the whole thing um it's like corporate drone kind of energy and they'll like they just work so much <laughs> it's really similar to the business career though um yeah anyway i wish that they would add some more careers this is maybe a controversial sims opinion um 
I don't really want them to add like more active careers. It's not that I don't I don't want active careers. I think that I would just rather them make me like five rabbit hole careers because I kind of prefer just like the the label of the job. Um, I like the idea of just like saying, oh, my sim does that and they just go off to work during the day and do it because then I have one less sim to worry about during the day and I can do other things at home or whatever. Like sometimes you want to skip through a day and have them be gone. <laughs> sometimes like it's fun to go to work with them sometimes, but also sometimes you just want to send them away, you know, but I, I like careers for the label of just saying they do the thing. Um, so I'd like to see more careers that you can just do. Um, you want a teacher career that isn't in university? Yeah, I like the teacher career. Um, I, I think it's interesting. Um, this has like, it's it has like a school administrator, professor energy. Um, I would like to, and they're probably not gonna make a second teacher career, but I would have liked to have had like a elementary school teacher or like an early childhood kind of education type of career. Maybe I just want daycare, but this this feels like teaching older kids. The picture doesn't look like that because this is like clearly an elementary school classroom. But <laughs> um, can we do K Bell like cable? And they're an electrician, handy person, engineer. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, is it weird to name a sim after myself though? I don't go by K. I think K is ugly, so it's not weird. Right? <laughs> it's not weird, right? Because I would never call, don't call me K. Because spell it K with a C. Oh, that's better actually, because then it's not me. Yeah, you're right. You already did Clayla. <laughs> oh, <laughs> am I not so very challenged? I forgot about that. We had, um, because the, the last name of my not so very challenge is Potts. Um, so we were trying to do like, similar to the, you know, this K-Bell cable thing. We wanted to have like funny words that, you know, their name was silly and fits with the last name. Um, and so we were talking about like honey pots. So one's, one was named honey, stuff like that. Well, I named one of them Clayla pots, like a clay pot. But it was Clayla. So, <laughs> and now we're doing all of this chaotic, not so very stuff. Have you done cowbell yet? Yeah, that one gets suggested a lot, but I feel as though it's offensive to name a sim cow. <sighs> you know? Your heir is named Rosebush because my habits have run off on you? Yeah, I'm glad, that's good. <laughs> Cow is like a good pet's name, but I think cow as a person is mean. I don't know, cause people, but not slime, okay. <laughs> Maybe I have, um, there's no clear moral compass here. Cause yes, actually I'm okay naming a sim slime and not cow. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it mean though? Well, because people use cow as like an awful insult to people, you know? Um, people say that and like mean it in a really offensive, mean way to people. So that's why it just feels kind of, no one calls someone, a, well, they do call people slimy, don't they? Well, it's different. It just is different. <laughs> I think cows are very cute though. I'm a huge fan of cows. Anyway, <laughs> what have we gotten ourselves into? <laughs> I just gotta stop talking. <laughs> we had a big detour there to talk about um, careers, but back we go. Um, okay. Your girlfriend knows you watch my videos and stream, so she always asks, how's Kayla? Or what does Susie think of the new Sims pack? That's so funny. <laughs> uh, well, tell her I said hi. <laughs> Uh, thank you for the resub, Megan. Thank you for the resub too. Linz and Jess and Wistful and Quinn and Miss Liz and Ollie. Thank you, everybody. Um, okay, let's see. Perhaps we get a nice 
rug. I think that might be a little bit too bright for what I want, but also maybe it's, I don't know. I guess we're trying to go for a darker green though, huh? Snowy escape. Cause I wanted to match the, um... oh no. I have to be careful with how I put it cause I don't want it to be stuck there. I want it to match the chair. That is my goal. Tay Bell, like table maybe? <laughs> we make a sim called Tay Bell and they craft furniture. We've got options. <laughs> We've got options. They get into the woodworking table and stuff. Um, I think I like this room for how it is. Tay and Tay, the twins? <gasps> Oh no. You honestly, you might have just changed my life. I was not, I was like really anti twins. I've been going on and on about how I don't want to have twins. How do I get so easily influenced by chat? It's so dangerous. You people are dangerous. It's actually really bad. <laughs> It's genuinely really bad how easily you can trick me into doing stuff. I think that K and Tay are both pretty good gender neutral names too. Like K with a C and stuff, those are both like, I think of any name as being gender neutral to be honest, but chat doesn't always agree with me on that. Um, but I think that those are both pretty good neutral names. So I think that's good. All right. Yeah, people get really weird about names. They really did not like me naming a baby Jort in my not so very challenge. <laughs> um, I, I, that was an, a very unpopular choice. The name Jort was, um, that one did not land with a lot of people, but I think it's kind of fun. I actually think Jort's kind of iconic, so. <laughs> but yeah, that one, that was um, an unpopular choice with people. <laughs> George forever. Thank you. I know a lot of, see, a lot of you agree with me. A lot of you are the same as me with this. And I appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Um, I guess don't raise that up because then they can't use it. Um, okay. I don't really love this. That's kind of the only thing holding me back right now. I might try and find a different tall and skinny cabinet. Um. Oh, you know what? That brings in some more wood, which I think is probably for the best. You can scoot that way into the wall too, which is also good. Okay. I think that's better. You know what else we wanted to do? I was, you just got me thinking that we probably wanna have a woodworking table somewhere. Um, the woodworking table kind of throws off the vibes if I'm being completely honest. Don't really know if it like matches the house that well, but it is what it is. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Um, okay, well, I've cheated already for more money, but I'll give myself a little bit more. Like I was telling chat earlier, we're actually, we, we're trying to have this house be worth less money than what our house is worth right now. But all of a sudden it's very expensive and that's okay. It's just not really what I envisioned. Oh. Where do you put the bed? Uh oh. This room is very, very poorly shaped. <laughs> it's like everywhere that you, I guess we could put it in the middle of the room, like here, single bed. Cause everywhere you put it, you don't want to block any of the doors. It's going to have to be kind of like middle. This room is a challenge. Yeah, this is rough. <laughs> this is definitely a rough one. Um, let me move my little 
thingies. Toddler bed in the cube. Okay, so this room belongs to our teenage sister. The Sim who's gonna own this house is Tinker, and they have a sister called May. Um, and this room's gonna be their teenage sister's room. So we need to keep that in mind as we're, like, preparing it. Remember that it's for May. She has, like, a pink and purple room right now, but what if I went for, like, more of a yellow vibe? Because I think that's kind of cute and sunny. Then I just like it. What about Tinker's kids? Well, Tinker has no kids yet, but we're gonna have them use these rooms because May's gonna move out and then we'll have like a nursery here. Um, but yeah, this, uh, we play on a short lifespan, so things happen fast. Um, and this sibling won't be living in this room for that long in the grand scheme of things. So it'll be okay. This single bed is one that you can fabricate from Eco Lifestyle. Kind of a fun one. A lot of stuff you might not ever see because you have to make it, but you can get it out of debug if you want to. Um. Okay, I love the stars. I think that's so cute. I feel like we have to use those. <laughs> Courtney, Andy, Chris, uh, Bleedle, and, and Fa, and Celestial, and Ray, and Megan, thank you for the subs. Um, okay, that's a good start. We probably can't put, like, anything on that wall, though, huh? Yeah, I'm on the Sims 3 camera, but that's how I can move the camera like this. You can swap it just from up here. I don't like the Sims 4 camera. Um, I feel like you can't really do that much with it. Um, I find the Sims 3 camera to be a lot better. But everybody kind of has personal preference. Um, if you are a person who's very accustomed to the Sims 4 camera, it'll probably be a hard shift for you to switch to the Sims 3 camera. Um, but I find it way better for, you know, seeing what you're doing and controlling the game and stuff. Um, let's do that yellow and blue. I think that's nice. Okay, I think I want May to be a bit of an artist. So I was picturing getting some art stuff in this corner. There are canvases from Eco Lifestyle that we can use. Yeah, you can't get like the angles with the Sims 4 camera that I can with this, which is the biggest issue with it. Can console use Sims 3 camera? I have no idea. I. I really um, am not well versed in what comes with console and, and how stuff works on console because I obviously don't play on console. I don't even have access to a console really. We have a PlayStation, but Dan has it in his office because he streams PlayStation games sometimes and obviously I don't. Um, so yeah, I'm uh, really unfamiliar with <laughs> all that stuff. Um, you can, you can on console use the Sims 3 camera. Oh, someone else said no Sims 3 cam. Oh, I don't know the answer then. But they said console player here, you can. Console has just one type of camera and it's different from the Sims 3 and the Sims 4 camera. Oh, that makes more sense to me. Interesting. Um, someone else says console can and it's easier to navigate. I think maybe it, maybe that the confusion is coming from the fact that it, it, it is an entirely different camera and maybe the camera is better than the Sims 4's regular camera on PC. Um, but it is perhaps an entirely different camera and that's why people are getting confused when talking about it. We're getting a lot of conflicting answers here, so <laughs> I think that might be the reason. I don't know. Um, okay, let me look at some more of the stuff from... High school years. Okay. High school years has so many really beautiful paintings. Okay, that's perfect. I was thinking about trying to get, cause from this, there's like, yeah, little sketches. I wanna put that here. There's also like a little craft cart. I'm okay with that clipping. I'm gonna get the craft cart too. No, console players cannot get custom content. That's not, um, that's just like a limitation of console. You can't really mod console games full stop, like all the way across the board. Um, it's kind of a limitation of consoles, but. 
Um, nifty knitting. Okay. What do we got? Maybe... I was thinking specifically about... Wait, the little craft cart is... Yeah, it is this one. Okay. I was like, it is this pack, right? Yeah. I just scrolled past it. <laughs> I had just scrolled past it. It was right there. Um... Maybe I'll get some more fairy lights on this wall. Maybe I won't have them here then. This might be too much. Okay. You can flip through swatches like that by pressing the plus and minus key on your keyboard, by the way. Um, if you have a number pad on your keyboard. Um, paint the whole thing white for now. And then we can go in and get like a couple of accent wall colors. Okay, I wanna steal, I actually love this. Am I using the in-game music? Yeah, I'm just playing regular Sims 4 music today. I don't normally do that, so this is a big day for us. <laughs> uh, this divider, I believe is from high school years, but let's check it just in case. Where are you? Sometimes I struggle to find it when I click on them. Let me just search the word divider and I'll show you. Um, this one is in fact from high school years. Forested Oasis Room Divider. Oh, let's use a, a lava lamp. Why not, right? And then maybe I can put the little book set. Okay. That seems good. Can I put anything on these windows that will... It's hard because I don't really like it. Maybe a phone? Oh, that would be cute. We could get a phone and some keys. If I search phone... Yeah, phone and keys. Maybe I'll put that in here too. Because that kind of has entryway table energy. What color would little May have? Maybe the... That's fine. Sure. I'm worried about how much more to put. Uh, what else can we afford? Let me look through like everything from high school years, quick. Is that a remote? It's a phone. It's a phone, not a remote. High school years. Simsy just automatically- Wait, wait, the stream light turned onto your TV automatically? That would be scary. I'm sorry to have jump scared you. Um, okay. Um, so... Yeah, I'm not really feeling inspired by most of the options here. I guess we have a little bit of clutter. I just like, you have to be so careful with what you put on this wall because it's so tight. I guess we could potentially, emphasis on potentially, put like this here. And I think they might be able to get past that. Oh, wrong shade of yellow. Hmm. Can I make you yellow? Does anything else come in like a fun yellow pattern? Oh, you know what? That's kind of good vibes. Maybe I'll put that everywhere. Or like around a lot of the walls. Just for fun, cause it's it's like a young teen's room, you know? Let it be fun. I think my sim can get in there fine. Do you wanna come admire this possession? Just so I can test it? Yeah, they're fine, they can use it. Um, okay. Oh, someone spammed no in all caps. Uh oh. I'm really sorry to tell you this, but when people do that to me, it usually makes me want to use the item more. The, like, item in question that they don't like. 
Um, I know that's bad, but I don't respond well to um, people being mean. <laughs> it's one thing to be like, oh, what if you tried this instead? But to be like, no, it's ugly, is just mean. Like, it's not really criticism, it's just mean, you know? So, <laughs> um, we, we usually don't really uh, re respond nicely to people that are mean. <laughs> I usually ignore it and just make it worse. Um, okay, I like that room for what it is. It's. I think we manage well with the space that we had to work with, right? Um, what about a mirror? Yeah, a mirror would be nice. I don't know if we have a lot of wall space though. Kinda is all done. Okay, um, so in this room, we don't currently have any babies. Um, we will have children, but we don't have any children yet. We're gonna have a science baby, I'm pretty sure, so when the baby is born, it's gonna be like a quick turnaround, <laughs> I guess you could say. <laughs> um, so we should prepare ourselves for that, but we can cheat for this, I think, because we'll end up deleting it when we have the new house. Um, are we actually gonna have twins? Serious question. Are we like committing to that? Oh wait, if it's if they're science babies, they won't be twins. Well, I guess they could be, but we can't force it. Well, we can just have them close together. I guess I'll prepare it for like just the one then. Um, they can be twins, but you can't like force it to happen like I usually can with MC Command Center with how I like normally play The Sims, you know? Um, imagine we get triplets, oh no. Can the baby room be rainbow themed? I am totally down to do that. I'd like it to be like a pastel rainbow. Look at this. Is this like an okay rainbow energy to you? This, I, that rug is like kind of I don't love that, but I think we could try and do like a pastel rainbow vibe. I would be okay with that. Maybe I'll decorate it for an infant and not a baby. Like not a newborn, because then we have more that we can do with it, you know? Um, what do I want over here? I was gonna get, oh, scoot that over. Get a changing table. Oh my god, I was like sat there trying to remember the word for changing table. For some reason the word the word changing table was not coming to mind. Um, I'm not gonna put a trash can because I'm gonna try and bring it myself. Okay. Where's that rug from? You need it? It's from high school years and it's sized up one. This, this rug is sized up a bit, um, but it is from high school years. Okay. If you were a baby whose parents were making you a pastel rainbow room, I think that actually works quite well. The first science babies you tried ended up being twins? Yeah, I've probably had like, let me guesstimate. I've probably had like 12 science babies or something. 10 plus, maybe like 10 to 15 science babies. And I've had twins once in that time. Um, and I, I've like, you know, that's a fair number of times to try, I guess. It's not that many, but it's a fair amount. Um, movie hangout dresser. Oh, that thing is so cute. Wait, look. Um, I might even use that instead of the bookshelf. Look at that with the pastels. That's pretty cute. Um, you thought Quinn and Tinker don't need to have science babies and they could just woohoo? Yeah, so, so, need to and want to are two different things. Um, the couple who are gonna live here, again, we aren't actually dating this person yet, but we're gonna. <laughs> I'm really getting ahead of myself. But they're both non-binary and I don't think that either of them would want to have a pregnancy. Like most of the time with my Sims, um, I'll just do whatever it takes to 
make whoever have a pregnancy. Like, if I, I feel like science is beyond that in The Sims, so everybody can have kids if they want to and, like, have a pregnancy if they want to or whatever. Um, but I don't think that either of these two would. So I want to have science babies for them. Um, but that's, that's kind of how I look at it with my Sims. Does that make sense? <laughs> adopt? Well, you can always adopt too, but science babies are kind of fun and they're new, um, ish. So, um, okay. Anyway, I just like to think about it with that sort of context, I guess. Like, would this sim want to carry a pregnancy? Maybe, maybe not. And then we go from there. <laughs> um, okay. I think I don't like that one. I like that one better. I think this color matches the room better. We have a lot of pink happening in here, so. Um, between a wardrobe and a dresser. Oh, that's a good question, Kaufman. Um, when I say a wardrobe versus a dresser, I usually think of a wardrobe as being like this, like big tall cabinet, and a dresser as being like this, just drawers. Um, a wardrobe almost is kind of like a closet where it has a cabinet with like hanging space. Um, at least that's how I picture it to be. I've never had a wardrobe in real life. <laughs> um, but that's, that's usually the difference that I mean when I say it. Um, that's a good question because you're right, if you're not a native English speaker you might not know what those things mean. Um, Okay, the toy box from Growing Together is also a fun idea. Let's take a look at that. Um, can I add a rocking chair? Yeah, we're probably gonna wanna have a rocking chair and we're also probably gonna wanna have a, um, like one of those infant thingies, the infant mats. I may end up having to put that like in the living room though, when we do have the kid. We don't have a kid yet, but I might just stick that like in the kitchen when the time comes. Um, but there's no baby yet, so we don't have to worry too much. <laughs> you call a dresser a chest of drawers? Yeah, that makes sense. That, I think, is pretty common, too. Um, I love this with the blue and the green. I think that helps with our rainbow energy. Um, you always thought of wardrobe with what British people call closet? No, it is kind of, but the, the difference is that in America, a lot of houses here have, like, built-in closets. Like, like in the wall, there's like a room that's a closet kind of, it's small, but you know, we have like closets. Um, but that's not as common in other countries. So they might put a piece of furniture like this that acts like a closet, but it's a piece of furniture as opposed to being like built in, you know? Um, but they would call any like sort of closet that has clothes in it a wardrobe. Dan would call his closet, closet a wardrobe. Um, we have a closet in this house, but the, I think the piece of furniture also is, there's a difference. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, a lot of dorm rooms in the U.S. have wardrobes, too. That's true. Um, like, the furniture piece. That's why they even have that from university. Like, that kind of thing. But words can have lots of meanings, I guess. <laughs> um, Robin and Nap and Jet Setter and Benny and thank you for the subs. Um, okay. What about, what should I put in that corner? I'm thinking maybe I'll put like a little table and I'll put some baby toys on it. I don't think the rocking chair is gonna fit. Um, so I'm probably not gonna do a rocking chair in here. But we can get one outside or something. I always put these rocking chairs in my Sims um, like nurseries and I don't even end up using them. But I do that all the time, where I'll like go to great lengths to put one and then I don't use it. Silly, silly, silly. Oh, look at that! Okay, that's pretty good, I think. Um, some dorms in your college have wardrobes and have built-in closets. That makes sense. And now that I think about it, my dorm had a wardrobe like a furniture piece, but it's not really movable, but it was built out like that. And I was in the oldest dorm on campus, but the newer ones, maybe they built in proper closets. Interesting discussion. Interesting to consider. <laughs> no, on ley line doesn't work for, um, 
for science babies, unfortunately. It would be cool if it did, but it does not. Oh, I wanted to use this because I like the vibes, but it's not like pastel enough. Hmm. Oh, you know what might be kind of cute is if we did like... Is that pastel enough? Maybe it should be, oh, too gray, Never mind. I don't like it. That's not good. Paranormal is maybe, doesn't it? Oh, does, does onlay line work for science babies? I just assumed that it didn't, I guess. You, so you think that onlay line does work for science babies? I guess I haven't really tested it. I just assumed. You think it does work unless you just got lucky? Oh. Oh, well, maybe I incorrectly assumed that it didn't work then. We can test that in a minute. No, I'm gonna test it now. Let's find out. Um, because we can own oh, the trade. I really assumed that it didn't, but perhaps that was an incorrect assumption. Okay. Um, okay, so let's go test this out. Bess, oh, money cheat again. <laughs> Um, have a science baby. Alright, I've got on ley line. We'll see what happens. Oh, people keep telling me to put a trash can in there. I don't know if you heard me say, but I, I didn't put one on purpose. Um, because I don't like how it looks. Oh! <gasps> oh my god, it does work. And they put them in the barn? Why would you do that? Wow, okay, so on ley line, I just assumed that it wouldn't work on science babies, but it does. Hmm. Okay, let me go to main menu and we'll get rid of them. Because I don't want them anymore. <laughs> that was just a test. Kelsey, Robin, thank you for the resubs. I cannot believe they spawned in the barn. <laughs> Alright, back we go. Well, I guess that means we can have twins then. I don't really, the house can't really fit twins. I guess we can just have the kids as soon as May moves out. And then they'll be fine because they can each have their own room. We'll have to think about it. Okay. <laughs> Let me figure out the outside then. The grandparents are also going to die, so we have that to look forward to. That sounds so bad. I did not, um... I meant, like, look forward to, like, we'll have this space, you know, not that I'm looking forward to my sims dying, because I immediate regret with saying that, I'm not going to lie. I wish that I hadn't said that out loud. <laughs> um, it's okay, though. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> That was bad wording. <laughs> um, but you know what I mean. We'll have space. And that will be good. Okay, so... As far as other little bits of decor... I like the yellow plants, so I'm gonna put that there. So we've got yoga, we have a telescope, we've got some plants outside of this balcony. That's always very nice to have. Um, thought it was sarcasm until I took it back. Oh, oh, it was sarcasm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, that's what it was, thank you. <laughs> Great point there. Um, okay, so in the back, we wanted to have the outdoor kitchen. I'm probably gonna end up having to delete this before we move in, because we're, we're, we've gone past our funds, okay? We're out of money here, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because it's good vibes. Um, 
and then we'll be able to just rebuild it, I guess, once we get some more money. Um, I really liked the vision of there being like a grill here and then a bar. You having a whole horse in that house too? Yeah. Um, I know. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> but yes, the plan is to have a whole horse in this house. Um, I don't know. We'll see. What am I gonna do when I finish the house on stream today? I don't really know yet. We'll find out. Um, <laughs> we'll find out, we'll see how it goes. Um, let me get a nice outdoor table. Also, should we get a hot tub? Let's just think about this, like, long term. What we're gonna end up doing. We could fit a hot tub in that corner, and that might be kind of nice. But, I don't know. I don't know. Could I do a couple of lounge chairs and an umbrella over here, or is that too much? Where is the recycle machine? Um, it was over there. Now it's here. <sighs> what a thing that is, you know? What a thing. Does it come in any other colors or does it have to look like that? Uh, could you put it next to the dumpster? Ah, we could, but I think that I'd like to build around it a little bit more because like functionally we are going to use it a lot. Maybe I don't need a hot tub. I'm never going to use the hot tub if we have one. Ugh, no, let's build out for a hot tub. Stop Kayla. You know that you're going to try and upgrade the backyard eventually once you get more money. So just plan for it now. I'll delete the hot tub when I like, actually play in this house probably because I can't afford it but we'll put it back. So it's good to put it there now and like prepare for it. Can the horse get past the chairs? What chairs? These? We're not gonna keep them over there, I don't think. Um, it was an idea, but I don't think it was a good idea. I'm kind of considering putting our vertical planters over there. Um, because that helps with the wall, gives us something more to look at. I don't know. Can I get some lights? Meat wall? Yeah, we're going to upgrade it to a meat wall. Don't worry. Once we actually start playing it, it will upgrade it to a meat wall. I'm reaching the point where I'm, like, letting myself stress about this because we're spending way too much money and, like, I'm now getting a little bit nervous about, like, how it's all gonna work, you know? Um. Ooh. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna build this out in a way, intentionally, that lets me have, like, a cooler patio. I think I might steal some of this for the yard. The horse needs more grass anyway. What is a meat wall? Oh god. Every time it gets brought up we have to explain it to people and then I feel embarrassed. Um, it's, it's a feature from Eco Lifestyle. When I say meat wall, we literally mean meat wall, wall of meat. It's, you can update these vertical planters to grow meat on them. I'm not kidding. And you can like harvest the meat from it. 
the people are really interested in the meat wall. It comes up a lot um, because the people really like it. Do with that information what you will. Um, okay, so... Violently unsettling, you think so? <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Um, I'm thinking about doing this and trying to get these, like... Can I keep that at the right height then? No. Okay, put this here and just raise it up. I have an idea. I just have to get there first. Just trust me, okay? Just trust me, it's gonna be fine. Oops, too much. Stop. Like right there. I think that's fine. That one's a little bit higher up, but I don't know. I kind of want to have like pretty stuff. I hate that it was clipping into the fence. That totally ruins my vibes. I had done this in the old house. We had kind of done this and like built it in with like a custom trellis and it looked so cool. I don't know if we should, but um, it might be a, a cool opportunity to use like some of the fun plant stuff. Put the three higher up, like even higher up than this. You think so? The circle on the floor is so we can charge our gemstones. We're, we're gonna uh, move it somewhere else. It's just there as a placeholder, so I don't forget to put it somewhere. Um, we, will, we will move it to be elsewhere though, don't worry. Okay, this is probably a huge mistake. I don't know, I was just thinking, okay? Forget it, cheat money. The meat wall is from Eco Lifestyle. <laughs> Um, it is from Eco Lifestyle. Um. Maybe I make that a little bit smaller. Can I hide this somewhere else? I don't know where. How over budget are we? Well, we're not really over budget at all because the house is actually, we have like 300k or something ridiculous that we can use for the house. I was just trying to make it be cheap. I wanted it to be 100k. It's probably going to be like 120k. Um, which is more than I had hoped that it would cost, but is still less money than we have. Um, so it's not the biggest deal. But we have we have way more money than I wanted to spend. <laughs> I, I had these visions of like using this generation as like an opportunity to start over. I, I was really hoping that we could like give ourselves way less money and like try and work our way back up. <laughs> um, so I don't know, since when is Tinker that rich? Well, think about the house that their parents own and they have like 70k in the bank because their parents both went to college and are like maxed career plus all of the bonuses from their jobs plus they're writers plus they are programmers so they're getting all the royalties. Like, we make so much money in the other, in the, in the main household. So. Too much money, even, dare I say. <laughs> um, but it's okay. <laughs> Sun and Moon, Abby, thank you for the subs. I don't know what to put in that weird corner. It's like, maybe we should put the grill back there, but then it didn't look that good. Maybe we shouldn't do the whole outdoor kitchen vibe and we should just have the one thing. Because then we can make it a little bit more subtle. I don't really want to have a bar. I'm kind of like not feeling the bar thing. Um, 
But I don't know. We'll see. So we can do our charging of the crystals. If you put the girl against the wall and it catches fire, it's gonna burn through the wall into the house. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Trust me. We have learned our lesson. Maybe I could keep this over here as like a fun spot for our crystal tree to go once we get it planted. I do need to get a couple more things down for us to use for the, um, the horses landscaping. Okay. Just a little bit more plants. I do need to get a feeder. Because I don't have that yet. But I was thinking I'd put that inside the house. If you could call this a house. Or maybe it's better to have the water in there because they don't actually need the water. They do need the food. So that way I have a, more eyes on it. Um, will I use the horse grass lot trait? No, because I don't really like it. Um, the the horse grass that people are referring to, the lot trait just makes it grow wild. And I don't really want it to do that. Um, I... I'm okay with putting like a couple bits of this in like the corners, I guess. Um, but I don't really want it to grow on its own. I'd put it where I want it to be and then use it from there. Um, it doesn't need dirt. The horse stall doesn't need dirt. I'm getting a lot. I see your, um, you feel passionately about this. <laughs> uh, we can get rid of the dirt, I guess. Um, I don't know. I find this to be a little bit ick but um but i moved into this house on stream you've been curious how i get all the pictures and stuff oh i just take them off the wall and put them in my backpack you know how your sims all have their own inventory i just take the pictures off the wall and put them in their inventory there's no drama to it um i'm not gonna move them in on stream though because i i'm gonna move them in for the video um I think the dirt looks good. No dirt for the vibes. Yeah, the person who was saying no dirt, their name said horse girl. So they probably know better than me. <laughs> like not joking. They probably they probably know the correct uh, what's best. But <laughs> um, I kind of like the dirt because it gives us like something else that's different to look at, I guess. Um, but I don't know really what I'm doing. Um, oh, those all look terrible. The white looks like actually bad. I guess it could be like the light wood color, same as you, because that matches this. Why do those windows keep doing that? Like, that's really annoying. I don't understand it. Yeah, I like how the dirt helps to split up the room. That's kind of my thought too. I just think that it... It's good as like something else to look at. Oh, that's not what I want. Not that color. See, we can make it seem like it's on purpose. That's all nice and clean and good, right? The dirt isn't realistic, but looks more like straw, I guess. Oh, the people don't like the dirt. Uh-oh. <laughs> I've done something wrong by putting this, I think. How about a bucket? Okay. I don't know. I don't want to put too much more into this room because it's just the... It's just the horse room. Um... Maybe I'll put this, like... Honestly, let's have the the recycling machine kind of front and center. Like, let's just put it here and make it look like it's intentional somehow. I think is the next plan. And then it's probably almost done. We'll have to look around a little bit more for anything that maybe we missed, but... Okay, I got a couple planters because my robot will use those. 
Um, I don't love the color of that. Maybe I could pick like... Perhaps the lime green is better, because it matches this then. Okay, I guess maybe last we should just get something on this wall, like, I don't know what, but just something. Nina horse riding? Oh my god. I would- wait, our future spouse is the one who likes horses, but how hilarious would it be if, if the robot took up horse riding? That is kind of iconic. You might be onto something with that. I'm gonna put a bar here. You can have the bars backwards, by the way. Your sim just stands there and puts the drinks on the back. Um, the seats are just nice for like visuals and like if you wanted the sim to sit at the bar, at the, at the bar, you know? Um, but you can put bars against the wall, it's not a problem. I do it a lot. It works fine. Um, I think... I don't know. Some sort of like, I'm kind of leaning towards just like a thing. <gasps> no, that's so silly. It kind of matches though. Perhaps that's a good last thing to add. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Or do you think it's ready? <laughs> Never did I ever think we'd have a horse in eco lifestyle, but here we are. <laughs> Tell me thanks for 25 months. Magpie, thank you for the 40 months. Sun and Moon, thank you for the four months. I appreciate that. I think it's good. I think the people are gonna like it. Um, annoyingly, there are ads playing, so I'll wait a second and then I'll give chat a tour. Um, I'll show you all around a little bit. Um, why is Dan watching? What, is Dan watching my stream? Why? Terrain paint? Oh, this is actually flooring, so we can't do terrain paint on top of it, because it's a floor. But I'm not that worried about that, to be honest. Um, interesting. Let me open his stream back. I'll see what he's doing. Oh, he's full cam. Oh, maybe he's gonna raid me. That's my guess. I think Duck Dan's gonna appear in a minute. Oh, we need a ball for the horse, don't we? Ooh. Yikes. There's not enough space here to have a horse. It's actually terrible. Like, what I'm doing is, is really bad. I like the rainbow one. I'm gonna regret this. <laughs> oh, we usually uh, don't raid each other, Allie, because we usually stream at the same time. So we usually get off at the same time. So I'm not gonna raid Dan if he's gonna get off stream in like 10 minutes, you know? Oh, there it is. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> Hi, Dan, hope you had a good stream. You actually are here at the exact right time because I just finished the build so I can show you the new house. Um, so we've been working on building this for my legacy challenge on YouTube. Um, I have this, I call it the nightmare legacy challenge. In the past couple days I've been trying to make the new house because we're starting like the new generation and every new generation, like when a sim becomes a young adult, it's like, okay, fresh let's play kind of thing. Um, so this sim, their name is Tinker Bell. Tinker, first name, last name, Bell. Um, they use they them pronouns, uh, and they're gonna be a tinkerer of sorts. <laughs> so they're gonna live in Eco Lifestyles World Evergreen Harbor. Um, they're gonna do like the fabrication skill. They're gonna make jewelry. Um, they do live in the smog. Yeah, but we're gonna fix it. We're gonna we're gonna upgrade the town. We'll do the neighborhood action plans. The world is kind of stinky. We are joking about how the world's kind of a stinker, and we are tinker. Anyway, um, <laughs> it'll look better. Once we, you know, improve. The roof is the same color as the smog in the sky and that's kind of giving me the ick, but... Anyway, um, we do also have a 
future spouse who we are not even dating yet, but they <laughs> are our friend and they also use they them pronouns and uh, their name is Quinn, Quinn Tinker. They're like descended from the Tinker family from Evergreen Harbor. And when I met them, I said, oh my God, my name's Tinker, your name's Tinker, they should get married. Um, so we haven't really pursued that relationship because we do have a different boyfriend. Um, but we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna date them. And their issue is they like horses, um, which is a huge issue for us because we wanted to live in Evergreen Harbor. All of the lots are so small in this world. Um, so we have to live on a 30 by 20 lot and have a horse and have this giant house. Um, <laughs> but this is what we came up with. I think it looks kind of cool from the outside. Um, we've got some cool balcony spaces and stuff. Uh, the back has like a nice outdoor space and things for us. Uh, this is the barn. So the horse lives in there. We have some horse stuff in the yard. <laughs> um, and then I can show you the inside of the house. So you walk in through this front door um, and then it takes you here. We have like a little entryway and chess table. I liked this cool divider. Um, then we've got a kind of cute small living room right here when you first come in. To the right, we have the dining room. There's like a bar cart under the stairs and some seating. Lots of places for family photos. Um, to the left, we have the kitchen, which I quite liked. Um, and then uh, also downstairs, we have the primary bedroom. So they have a big bedroom down here with like a nice uh, desk and an ensuite bathroom. There is a hall bathroom, so there's gonna be a fire toilet in here. If you're f unfamiliar, a fire toilet is a toilet that has been upgraded to have the composting container upgrade, and that makes it spontaneously combust if you don't use the compost, and I never use the compost. So my toilet often catches fire, and I think it's funny, so we're gonna have that in there. <laughs> um, if you come into the basement, we have like a bunch of catch-all stuff for skill rooms. So we have an extra computer down here, because um, my parents, they are a programmer and an author, so we, we need computers, a lot of computers for them to all work on their careers. We also have a robot, um, and the robot has never had a bedroom before because we're moving from a townhouse that's quite small, so this house is a little bit bigger, so uh, we're gonna have like a guest room space that's also a room for the robot, Nina. Um, and we have like an extra TV down there uh, and some more stuff to put photos. I do have laundry. This probably isn't gonna last that long, but it's there for now. <laughs> We'll see how long that stays, but I've got laundry for now. Um, we have, this is like the, I don't know, weird machine room. We have the robotics machine because obviously I have a robot and we also have the fabrication station. So this is like the whole skill from Eco Lifestyle where you can fabricate furniture. So we have that. This is our crystal room. I've got a whole bunch of shelves on the wall for us to put collectibles as we're working on getting them. Um, we have it kind of decked out with space for that. I did put fake windows. That was kind of a controversial decision, but I liked it, so I kept them. Um, <laughs> and then when you go upstairs again, uh, there's a staircase over here on this side of the dining room. When you come up, there's a very small hallway. We do have an extra bathroom right here. Um, this is the room that our grandparents have. It is functional. I play tested it. They can get through here just fine. Um, so the grandparents will stay in here until they die, which will be probably kind of soon. Um, they have a balcony with a games table outside of it. <laughs> um, we have a room for our future baby. We don't currently have a baby, but we will. So they have their own little rainbow themed nursery right here. Um, and then Tinker Tinker's Tinker Room. <laughs> I'm gonna call it the Tinker Room. It is Tinker Tinker's Tinker Room. Yeah. Um, oh, the interior doors are different. I forgot that I had used uh, different ones up here and didn't swap them back. Let me just put those back because I wanted them to be the same. Um, I meant for them to be the same, but then I changed them. Anyway, um, this is, we have a younger sister named May who lives with us too. She's a teen, so she'll move out kind of soon. Um, but this is May's room. This one was kind of a struggle because there's doors in a lot of places. Um, so like putting the bed on the walls was like always blocking doors. So we had to put it like right in the middle. It was kind of weird, but it works. Um, it works. Um, and that is the full house. Oh, they have a balcony. May has a balcony off of her room too. So we've got a bunch of stuff um, at a woodworking table. Oh, I have a woodworking table. We put a woodworking table here along with a bar. There's a hot tub. We have so many like random skill things. Um, we have like the recycle machine. I do also have a uh, dumpster back here too. So um, the room for the baby you don't have yet, but plan to have with the spouse that we also don't have yet, but plan to get. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Describing this is very silly, but that's what we're dealing with. I think when we actually move into this house, I'm probably gonna delete all of the- we don't have a kid yet, so I'll delete a lot of that furniture. Um, I might end up deleting a lot of the outside furniture too, just to save some money, but I'll- I'll put the thing fully finished on the gallery for you. Um, but I think when we move in, we're gonna have to remove some stuff first. I wanted it to be a hundred thousand simoleons. I think it's like a hundred and ten. I actually thought it was gonna be 120, it's 130, that's pretty bad. Um, that's way more than I wanted it to be. We have like 300k, I just wanted it to be cheap. Um, and it's not. But that's okay. Um, should I call it the Nightmare Legacy House so it's easier to find? Or should I call it like, Eco House? What do you think? It is three bedrooms, there's a bathroom I think it's three bathrooms okay no it's four bedrooms there's three upstairs um tinkers tinkering house <laughs> that's confusing um I think me I'll describe it down here I built an eco home for my YouTube let's play the nightmare legacy challenge um and then i'll put i don't know i overthink this we want it to be easily searchable by people that are like coming from the youtube video so i think like labeling it the nightmare legacy house is probably good maybe i'll put hashtag bell family too because that's the name of the i'm overthinking this I really- I keep overthinking it. It's too much. Why? <laughs> um, but it's okay. It's fine. Um, Jen- oh. No. No, I'm not gonna put the Jen in the title. It's too confusing. I think it'll confuse people too much if we do that. This, just let it be. Just upload it. Stop overthinking, Kayla. Stop. <laughs> Lance, flying cactus nurse. Thank you for the subs. Oh, it's up. It's done. We did it. It's fine. Um, it's fine. Um, all right. Well, there we go. <laughs> I like how the house turned out. This is, um, it's quite similar to, maybe I can scroll back and find it. Um, it's a little bit similar to the house that we lived in, like, a couple gens before this. Oh god. Um, that one I was going for, like, pink celebrity mansion vibes. Um, this was baby- oh, it's not that similar. This was baby's dream house. You can't tell the roof is pink from the front. But we lived in this house, um, for a while with a previous gen. And it has- it's kind of similar energy, I guess, a little, but- um, super different, a different place. Um, so, anyway. <laughs> the Barbie Legacy? I never did the Barbie Legacy, Danny. Um, I probably wouldn't do it again. I don't really think so. I don't know. Um, but I loved this house. It was very special to me. How many packs used? Oh, in, in this one? Close to all of them. This this was built for me, okay? When I build for me, I use whatever. I don't- I try to not do this often, but in this case, um, because I built it for me, I just, uh, went for it. Did I use but two? I don't think we used the Star Wars pack, no. We didn't use all of them. I didn't use werewolves either. So there. <laughs> I should have gone back and put- maybe I should go back and put all of them. <laughs> um, the, but to how many packs? Um, yes. A lot more kits than I thought I was going to use too, but it's okay. I like how the gallery photo looks actually. The green sky is kind of giving me the ick, but it looks cool with the building. 
So that's good. Now the question is, this actually went quicker than I thought it would. What do you all want to do now? Look what I used in Get Together. Oh, it must have been just the column from Get Together. I would assume. Um, oh, and a flooring. But yeah, I was thinking about playing 100 Baby because we're trying to like push our way through that. And a lot of people are saying 100 Baby. Um, we'll play House Slipper on Wednesday, but maybe we could play a little bit of 100 Baby for like a bit tonight. Um, because we can try and get through some more of the kids. I can show you what we're doing. We just moved into a new house in a micro home and we're trying to do crystals. So it's kind of like Crystal Creations gameplay at the same time, because we're, we're trying to get all the crystals. Um, you can check what items used from a pack. Oh yeah, that's actually really helpful. Um, when you click on a building, um, you can click on the pack there and then press show items used and it'll tell you which ones from that pack you use. Um, and it, it also, if you're like on the gallery, you know, um, <laughs> and I say, um, Simsy meat wall shell. Oh, good God. Um, say I was like, oh, what pack, what, what item from this pack did they use? Well, you can see what. So that's helpful too. If you see a house that you like, I guess. Um, and you're like, oh my God, I don't have cottage living. What did they use from cottage living? Cause is it bad? Like, do, do I need it? In this case, it's just the fridge and a light, so it's fine if you don't have cottage living to get this house. You know? Um. <laughs> Hi, Miley, thank you for the bits. And Julia, thank you for the 18 months too. But yeah, that's that's how that works. Okay, um, so saying that, um, I guess we can swap to the 100 baby challenge then. Um, let me really quickly, I'm gonna add a stream marker so I can cut the VOD, watch this. Hi everyone, welcome to the stream. I'm just beginning. 